Hello everyone, so in this particular video we are going to see one of the ADF question which was asked in one of the interview. So the question is like how to count number of files which is available in a blob storage account. So I have one of the blob storage account. In this blob storage account I have a multiple files available. Now you have to tell me how many files are available into this blob storage. Why I am doing this? Because based on the count only I want to take a decision like if the count is greater than 5 then only I will perform a copy activity. So this is the scenario. So how actually you will get to know like how many files are available into the blob storage account. So think about the solutioning part. So uh, let me show you how actually we can do in a ADF. So I created one blob storage account. In this blob storage account I have a multiple files available. If I'll show you container, I created a blob storage. I have created one container, input container. In this input container, I have a multiple files. So I have to know from this data factory like how many files are available into the blob storage. How we can do that? So for that, what actually I will do? I'll create one pipeline, new pipeline. I'll use a get metadata. So I will use a get metadata activity. In this get metadata activity, first I will create a data set. So file is a blob storage, so I will select the blob storage. Continue. It is a CSV file, so I will select that. Click on the new link service. And here I will select the subscription, I will select the storage account. And I will click on the create. So I created a link service. And I will select the file path. So on which particular folder files are available. So this is the input folder where files are available. I'll select that and I'll click on the OK. Now from the get metadata, we will get to know what are the files are available, but we don't have any option for the count. So if you will see in the field list, you will see we have a multiple option like child item. Child item will tell like what is the file name, what is the file types and we have exist from this option. We'll get to know whether the file is exist or not. We have option for the item name, item type, what was their last modify. So these are the things are available, but there is nothing like a count which will tell me like how many files are there. So what I will use, I will use a child item as of now. Now let me debug. So from child item, what I will get here, I will get to know all the files information. So what I will do based on this file information, I will try to derive that. So if you will see from the child item, I am getting to know what is the file name, what is the file type, name type, name type. So these are the files which is available. But there is uh, nothing like count. How many files are there? That is information we don't have. To get that, what actually I will do? I will use one variable. I will create one variable. Set variable. So what I will use? I will use a set variable. I will just connect it. So my approach is like whatever the input file name which is we are getting from this get metadata I will pass into the variable and I will find out the length of the file name like how many files are there we will get to know from the length function so what I will do I will go to the setting I will create one variable name as a file count and we will select uh, as a integer click on the confirm value we will add the dynamic content in this uh, dynamic content what I will do I will select this child items and we will find out the length means what is the length of this uh, child item whatever we are getting the information right what is their length so if I will do this now if I will uh, debug this from here we will get to know the count so let's wait so you can see from this get metadata we are getting to know about the name types and all right now what actually we are doing we are passing that into a variable and we are finding out the length so it is giving me the value as a 6 now if I will show you how many files are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 so I am getting to know total 6 files is there now after this what actually you can do you can use a if condition and you can pass this variable here and you can uh, have uh, some condition like if the value is greater than 5 then perform copy activity otherwise skip it so like that actually we can do so i hope you got to know like how actually we can find out the count